You ever wondered if there was a natural cure, if only temporary, for diseases and viruses? One that could be found in the blood of a recovered patient, maybe? That could possibly cure the victims of coronavirus. Well, there is. Convalescent plasma is plasma that has been taken from the blood of recovered patients who have recently recovered from certain diseases, viruses, or allergies. Doctors are still debating whether it is a treatment that should be used to treat COVID-19. The tips of antibodies have little antigen receptors that lock onto the antigens, which are molecular structures on the surface of the bacteria and viruses. The antibodies weaken the pathogen so that the immune system can attack it. The process of latching onto virus spikes can help the immune system attack the virus. Once they have begun attaching to the antigens, the antibodies reproduce and attack antigens for weeks more until the immune system has conquered the virus. These antibodies remain in the host blood circulation for months after the victim has recovered, making them temporarily immune to the disease or virus. When an unfamiliar pathogen, such as viruses or diseases, enters the host bloodstream, the white cells, or B cells, produce antibodies to fight them off. For example, when a person gets diagnosed with chickenpox, it is likely they will never get it again. This is primarily because the antibodies stay in the bloodstream to fight off the virus in case it ever comes back. Antibodies developed after chickenpox recovery would not help someone recover from any other virus. So, what exactly is convalescent plasma, and how could it get rid of something like the coronavirus? Great question. Well, remember that plasma that has been taken from recovered patients is known as convalescent plasma. Convalescent plasma can be important to getting rid of a pandemic like the coronavirus because it contains antibodies that could possibly help a patient recover faster and more efficiently when transfused into their bloodstream. Wowza! Blood donors are vital to this process and could be a great help in conquering the pandemic. When taking the plasma from a donor to help a victim recover, there are a few vital steps. First, blood will be drawn from the recovered patient. The plasma will be separated from the blood drawn, and then the red blood cells will be returned back to the donor's body. This process is called plasmapheresis, and it enables patients who are currently battling the virus to accelerate the process of creating their own antibodies. When you use your own antibodies to help fight off a virus, that's called active immunity. But when you use convalescent plasmas, that is called passive immunity. Although it has been used in previous cases, the U.S. still isn't completely sure whether it is a good idea or not to use convalescent plasma to treat patients with coronavirus. Although the FDA did approve it to be used on life-threatening infections. That sounds like a great idea. I definitely understand a lot more. Convalescent plasma seems like it can be a great tool to help patients battling the coronavirus. Bye! Bye.